Hi, have you always wanted to know everything about Einstein's theory on special relativity, but either feared its complexity, feared the mathematics that might be involved, or gave it some tries like I did and failed? Then this is for you. In 30 easy steps, all the pieces of the puzzles will be revealed, including the tools needed to do so, and regardless of your educational background. You want to give it a try? I think you can do it. Yes, you can. It's true. GP, hit it! Hi, my name is Tom and this is my very first YouTube video ever. These are my co-hosts. We will have the evil mathematician. I will talk about him later, why he's evil. I will talk about the gracious physicist, she's lovely, I call her GP sometimes, and my two alter egos, observer one and observer two. And they are a bit, well they look a little bit silly, right? Observer one, as observer two as well, is obsessed with time. He's also obsessed with measuring things, dimensions, where things are. And he's very particular on where he is in the universe and how he's looking, what his orientation is. Is he like this, like this, like this, like this? And that's what these things on my head help. So these characters will be the main characters in our stories on special relativity. In 30 easy steps, I'll call them levels, we will learn everything you need to know about special relativity. It will be easy. You might be wondering, will we do math? Will we do physics? Yes, we will. But don't go away. It will be easy. If you dropped mathematics and physics in high school because this guy was really evil to you, or she was distracting you and not getting you focused on the physics or whatever, this lesson is for you. I will make it easy. As an example, these two will engage in a conversation about a secret formula on happiness. It will involve flowers and chocolates, of course, and we will learn a little bit about algebra. I myself will talk about, well, go. He, he wants to, he's really evil. I will talk about losing weight. I have very experience, I'm, oh, there goes my observer. I'm very experienced in losing weight. Unfortunately, also in gaining weight. And we will learn a little bit about calculus. We will go on a ship, on a rough sea. It has sinkholes, whirlpools, and we'll learn about divergence and curl. We will have winds and storms in our hair, and we will learn about vectors and vector fields. And we will have rock stars, real rock stars. We'll meet people like Aristotle, who is a little bit cuckoo, I'll tell you about it in lesson number, well not lesson, level number 15. We will have Coulomb, Faraday, Gauss, Lorentz, did I forget anyone? Uh, Galilei, Maxwell, and of course, Einstein. We will rank them on the board. And now comes the spoiler. So if you don't like spoilers, put your fingers in your ear and go like, nah, 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 nah. there it goes. Einstein is not at number one. He's not even in this list, and he's not at number one. In fact, he's not at number two, not at number three, four. He just made it to number 10. Shh, don't tell anyone. Still a great guy though. So next up in this video, I will tell you all about the 30 steps, levels up the mountain to get everything you need to know about special relativity. I will talk about how to do each step. <gasps> Focus. I did it, yes, bam! And you will do this 30 times and you will have the full movie. And we will look about each step, what it is it. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to do YouTube videos. And one thing they all do is the next thing and I'm gonna do it right now. Let's get into it. <music> Climbing the mountain. Here we have the mountain and at the top, we will have all the secrets of special relativity. And we need to climb this mountain. I climbed this mountain several times and failed. 
First efforts, I went in hardcore, hard math, tensors, etc., etc., and it felt like rock climbing. It felt a little bit like this. And if you look at this guy and you look at me, you can tell I'm not that guy. So I fell down. I gave up and then I went back to the subject and I tried popular science. The thing of popular science is it uses no math, great stories, great movies, documentaries, uh, good visuals, comics, etc. And after a while, you are in a happy place and you are one with the mountain. But as soon as you start to learn more about the mountain, you will understand that you are in a very bad place. You have no clue where you are or where you're going. And you will definitely not understand special relativity. So then I started to find the pieces of the puzzles myself. I think I spent hundreds of hours doing this. And then I put them in a very specific sequence. And then uh, I only used easy math, a lot of visuals for myself. And I wanted to know the whole story and not just bits and pieces of it. And it's a bit like this. You know, you're not actually climbing the mountain, you're walking the mountain. It will take you more time, but each step is doable. I promise. Yes, you can. It's true. So in each step, you will make your world small. You will not think about what's ahead of you or behind you you will be in the here and the now and you will do the single step and if you do this 30 times again you have the full movie bam you're in so a very legitimate question you might have if you're still watching is tom what is special relativity all about i want to know it's an introduction and if you don't tell me i'm not sure if i'm going to invest all this time with you in walking the mountain so let's go into whiteboard modus and focus on what special relativity is all about number one a secret very special highway and it's in a straight line this is our highway in special relativity. Number two, we will have events. And these events can have three types. Number one, static, something just being there all the time. As you can see, I'm very good in drawing. Number two type of event is something moving, like a car. Let me draw a car. Well, you get the picture, right? And it's moving in a specific direction at a constant speed. Event number three could be something flashing in your eyes, like a flash or an explosion, a bomb or something like that. Those are the three event types that we care about in Einstein's special relativity. Then of course we have observers. We have observer number one and we have at least a second observer. Observer number two. And both of them are watching one of these three types of events and they'll take notes. And these are the main ingredients. And the final ingredient in special relativity is what I call the magic special relativity box. And I will tell you how these all connect in slide mode. So we have the famous event that I talked about, static, moving, or just flashing before your eyes. We have an observer and he observes the event and he makes a record of the time that he saw the event and where the event was and how fast it was going, etc. We have another observer, which is somewhere else, maybe looking in a different direction, maybe traveling at a different speed. And he does the same because they were both looking at the same event. And then we have the magic special relativity box. The notes of observer one go into the box together with the differences between the two observers. As said, the observers might be facing different orientations. 
they might be in different places and they might be traveling at different speeds, etc. So that knowledge goes into the box together with the notes of number one. And then the box will tell you exactly what the notes of observer two will be. This is what special relativity is all about. And I can understand if you're new to the subject, you will say, oh, this is very boring. You know, is this what it's all about? Yes, this is what it's all about. And why it's not boring is because its implications are mind blowing. The fun starts when you start playing with the blue box. You will discover the universe. It's unbelievable. I can't think of anything else that happened between 1905 and today that had more mind-blowing implica impl uh, implications as this magic blue box. And that's, we will reveal the secrets in this box when we climb the mountain. However, before we go, you also want to know, Tom, can you tell me a little bit about the levels, a little bit how it will look like. Well, I will not go through all levels because then I will talk for hours and you will sure go away. So I'm going really fast now. We're at level one now. You're here. I'm here. Ha ha. And we will do some groundwork. We need a little bit of math, but I will try to make it as easy, as entertaining as possible by talking about happiness, losing weight, navigating storms, etc. We will not actually do math, but we will learn how to read math, how stories can be summarized into equations. We will meet rock stars along our way, like Galilei and Coulomb, and we will talk about them, what they did, because those are pieces of the puzzle. We will do some more math again, sometimes. We will meet more rock stars, and then we'll do some physics in number 12, Let's wave. We will meet Doppler and then it happens. Are you still here? Are you still with me? Level 14, a major plot twist. I'm telling you, if it, uh, you can really compare it with watching your favorite show on your favorite streaming service, you have seen four seasons. You're in season number five, episode number 14, and the main character disappears from the series. And you're like in shock because you invested all this time, you know what's right, what's wrong, what's true, what's false, and then suddenly the main character disappears. You're texting your friends, you are really upset. I had this, I watched series and I was really upset when main characters just go away for some reason. That will happen to us in level number 14. We will talk about Aristotle and the history of the speed of light. We will actually talk about how you can measure the speed of light in your kitchen. Now you might be wondering, the speed of light, where does that come from? It's a thingy in special relativity and you will learn. We will talk about light because light is also very important in this theory. What it is today and what we thought it was throughout history. So some history lessons. And then we hit crisis at number 17 and it's again another huge plot twist. You're like, no, 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 this can't be happening. It is. I'm not going to spoil anything about it. I'm not even going to tell you what MMX is. We will do a little bit math again, and then we will meet the Dutch Hendrik Anton Lorenz. I'm Dutch. He's Dutch. I have a connection. Although, you know, he was before my time, but still. And what he did will be absolutely amazing. He will, he will, together with all his predecessors, will, I think, solve the mystery, the crisis. We will do a Pythagoras, which is just for fun. And with Pythagoras, we can do a little bit of revealing some of the secret bits in the blue box. It will be really easy. You can just do this with... With, with, with almost no math at all, just with uh, uh, the theorem of Pythagoras, you can actually prove a little bit of the secrets in the blue box. And then we will talk about Carl Sagan. Uh, he's one of my personal favorites. Um, well, let's see in level number 22. I'm talking way too much here because level number three, 23 is the one I want to talk about. Ignatowski. If I did, hadn't meet, met 
Ich Natalski, on my way to the top, I would have never made it to the top. It was this guy in 1910 that did something that pulled me up the mountain, made me truly believe that it is true. And I'm, I'm telling you, it's hard to believe this stuff is true, but it is true. And Carl Sagan, but Ignatowski even more, made me, well, they convinced me. They pulled me in and, and then, then, then I had goosebumps on my arms, literally, when I could do what he did. So that will be my personal highlight. We will fix the MMPX crisis, of course, and then at level number 25, we will introduce the special relativity theory of Albert Einstein. And then you are there. This is the top of the mountain. You can relax. And what do we do when we relax? We start to play. And that's what makes Einstein different from his predecessors. He actually played with the theory. And we will do this in the final lessons. And when you play with the theory, you will see the mind-blowing implications. Again, it's mind-blowing. You, you will learn how you can actually stay forever young. It is possible. It's not fiction or, or science fiction or whatever. It's true. Yes, you can. And we can put a big rocket in a small shed. And we will talk about the twin paradox because everyone who knows a little bit about special relativity talks about the twin paradox. So, you know, I had to put it in the program and there it is. Seasons. If you're watching this and you're still watching, thank you, then I will have released the first six episodes. And based on your feedback, your comments and, and, and where this thing will go, I have no idea. I will release more seasons all the way to the top. Disclaimers, sources and tools. So we're at the final end and then I will shut up. I am not a mathematician, I'm not a physicist, I'm not a teacher. So if you feel like that's, that's something that you, 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 you feel like is, is, uh, uh, it, it has to be and it isn't, I'm telling you, do not hit the subscribe button below and do not hit the notification bell. If you're okay with it, please do. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll have, I'm not that good with mathematicians, no? So if you're one and you're watching, have a little sense of humor, you know, try. I haven't mastered general relativity yet. No, I'm not sure if I will. I do have a regular full-time job in a completely different domain than what than did this stuff. So I have to manage my time really carefully. But if I do, I'm sure I'll make a mountain of it. I'll make mistakes. I'm sure I do. And that's okay. I'll invite everyone who's watching to tell me my mistakes. And if there are really, really mathematical or physical mistakes in my story, I will reshoot and retake the series and correct them. I did not add stuff of my own. So all the stuff that is in here is, is, is gathered by using online sources and I will show them to you in a while. And of course I use tools to construct the stories. And when I first started looking at uh, videos on how to do YouTube videos, a lot of the stuff was about the tooling, etc. So I did the same. I watched all the movies and downloaded all the software and went through all the learning curves, etc., etc. So here it is. These are my favorite sources when it comes to special relativity. I do have to say, I do not know these people and they do not know me. This is my very first YouTube movie ever. I do not have personal or business relationships with these people. There's no affiliate program. I do hope that this thing goes viral someday and I will probably, and I, and, 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 and I can meet some of those. But for now, it's just, I'm a fan. So I have to say, thank you. Oh no, 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 not to the laptop. Thank you, thank you. You helped me up on the mountain. For tools, if you care, Streamlabs for taping it, Blender for all my animations and video sequence uh, production, uh, post-production stuff, Audacity to get a little bit better of voice, Desmos for some of the mathematical uh, visualizations, especially when we are going to play with the one-dimensional space-time diagram. 
Uh, and I'm yes, I, uh, I, I'm using slides as you can see, and uh, I will switch between the different things when I feel it. So this is the end. I want to thank you all if you made it all through the end. I hope you enjoyed my introduction, but most of all, I hope you can feel my passion. You can uh, appreciate my jokes and that you really, really want to understand because I'm making a lot of jokes, but make no mistakes. We will go down and dirty. We will do all the details and all the math and physics that will be involved, but it's my mission to make it as easy as possible and get you through it. Thank you for watching and hope to see you at level number two. Thank you.